On a branch of a big tree sat a little bird, Peter's friend. All is quiet, chirped the bird gaily. Just then a duck came waddling around. She was glad that Peter had not closed the gate and decided to take a nice swim in the deep pond in the meadow. Seeing the duck, the little bird flew down upon the grass, settled next to her, and shrugged his shoulders. What kind of bird are you if you can't fly, he said. The duck replied, what kind of bird are you if you can't swim? and dived into the pond. argued and argued, the duck swimming in the pond, the little bird hopping along the shore. Suddenly, something caught Peter's eye. He saw a cat crawling through the long grass. The cat thought, the bird is busy arguing, I'll just grab it. Stealthily, she crept towards him on her velvet paw. out said Peter and the bird immediately flew up into the tree
while the duck quacked angrily. from the middle of the pond. The cat walked around and around the tree and thought, is it worth climbing up so high? By the time I get there, the bird will have flown away. Grandfather came out. <laughs> he was angry because Peter had gone out into the meadow. It is a very dangerous place, he said. If a wolf should come out of the forest, what would you do? But Peter paid no attention to his grandfather's words. Boys like him are not afraid of wolves. But Grandfather took Peter by the hand, he locked the gate, and he led him home. Peter left the forest than a big grey wolf did come into the meadow. climbed up the tree. <laughs> the duck quacked, but in her excitement, she jumped out of the pond. No matter how fast the duck tried to run, 
she couldn't escape the wolf. It was getting nearer and nearer, catching up with her. And then he got her, and with one look, swallowed her. And now, this is how things stood. The cat was sitting on one branch. The bird on another. Not too close to the cat. And the wolf walked round and round the tree, looking up at them with greedy eyes. Peter stood behind the closed gate without the slightest fear, watching all that was going on. He ran home, got a strong rope, and climbed the big stone wall. One of the branches of the tree around which the wolf was walking stretched out over the wall. Grabbing hold of the branch, Peter lightly climbed over onto the tree. Peter said to the bird, fly down and circle around the wolf's head, only please take care that he doesn't catch you. The bird almost touched the wolf's head with his wings while the wolf snapped angrily at him from this side and that. How 
how the bird did worry the wolf, how the wolf wanted to catch him. But the bird was cleverer than the wolf, and the wolf simply couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Peter carefully made a lasso and letting it down. with all his might. <laughs> Feeling himself caught, the wolf struggled wildly, trying to get loose. Jumping only made the rope around his tail tighter and tighter. Just then. The hunters came out of the woods. Following the wolf's trail and shooting as they went. sitting in the tree said don't, 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 don't shoot birdie and i have caught the wolf now help us take him to the zoo Thank <laughs> you. 
and there. Just imagine the triumphant procession. Peter at the head. To Peter, the hunters leading the wolf. procession, Grandfather and the cat. Grandfather tossed his head discontentedly. Well, and if Peter had near caught the wolf, what then? The flew little birdie chirping merrily. My, what brave fellows we are, Peter and I. Look what we have caught. the wolf in his hurry. 